Are you kidding me? <laughs> Live in the toilet. If you're watching this now, don't Hi everyone, I'm Sarah X Miracle, your Miracle Mom, and today we're going to be sharing with you our experience in doing a staycation at Sentosa. And the reason why we decided to do this staycation and actually make a vlog about it is because this is the first time we've gone on a trip with the kids since COVID. So it really marks a new experience that we haven't gone to commemorate the family. We decided that we wanted to go to Sentosa because we thought we could have some of those Sentosa attraction experiences. Because I was pregnant, I couldn't go on one of the attractions the whole family was going on. Instead, I had to spend the time dealing with a TikTok imposter. This video is going to share what happened with that TikTok imposter. Two nights was very short and it's not as if we got to do a lot. It's really about the being together rather than the doing and I think that's what we've learned. The other thing we're going to do is to give holistic ratings of all the things we experienced from the hotel and the attractions we went on and we'll have a nice conclusion at the end so stay tuned for that. And if you're new to our channel, we hope you'll consider joining us on The Miracle Life by subscribing, commenting and sharing our Video. So without further ado, here is our staycation vlog. Here we are, yeah, finally. What? Bathroom, bathroom, bathroom. Yes. Where is Ines? How is it, Ines? I'm getting a little bit. We, uh, he's coming to make an extra bit. Who's gonna sleep on the bed and who's gonna sleep on the sofa? Perfect. You get the sofa and you get the bed. Perfect. Are you sure you're happy with the sofa? What did you think about the room? The room was very big. The room is bigger than my room. I could make my own room in the toilet. I could <laughs> live in the toilet if I wanted to, guys. That's how big it was. The toilet I had was to very sleep big. on a sofa, but that was okay. I was a bit thin. How did you feel when Leon wanted to sleep on the bed and then you were like sleeping on the sofa? Just didn't care lot. If you want to sleep on the bed, then I can take the sofa. If you want to sleep on the sofa, then I can sleep on the bed. Or if you want both the sofa and the bed, I am okay to sleep on the floor. What? I will keep in mind for the next vacation that you say you're okay to sleep on the floor. I knew it! I knew it! I knew it! I'm going to get my bed. Okay, good night, Leon. weather today happens to be really nice because yesterday it was raining so today is actually like a much more perfect day We're chilling today, right in We all found like uh, some other boys the same age. So they are complaining rescue Ines is like yawn So boring Where are my friends? I got no friends <laughs> How would you rate your pool experience at Hotel Aquarius? 7 upon 10 7 upon 10, why? It's a big pool, but it's only 1.2 meters deep. So it doesn't feel like you're really swimming, right? No, and but then, it's a great like pool to hang out with kids. There's also no pool activities like you have no slides. The pool was fun, but I got sunburned. Oh, yeah, it got was sunburned. not fun. Right, you know, I sunburned my butt. I didn't even know that it was popular. Like, oh, after yeah. that, after having the pool, it's definitely highlight for me just hanging out with Indian because I'm pregnant now and I can't do much other exercise. And I'm realizing that swimming has become part of my exercise strategy. Hi, Leon. Hello! Are you excited? Yes! Ines, are you excited? Wow, Leon, look at that! Plus, so many fountains! Big jump!
man, there sure are a lot of stairs. And Leon's tired. Are you tired? And it's hot. Man, they really make you climb here. Should have driven. Hey. So tell us more about the Luch. It was my first time going. I would give it a 7 upon 10. It was really hot. I was sweating a lot. I had to wear a helmet and the helmet was sweaty as well. No. Originally, Leon was supposed to go in his own car, but after seeing it, he decided he should come with me. Leon making a lot of noise. <laughs> sits in front of me, it's like kind of a tight squeeze, but it's good because he gets to get like a first hand experience, it feels like he's really driving it, even though that he's driving it. Okay, so we just finished the luge. How was it, Leon? Good! Ines? Fun. It was fun? It was awesome! We're gonna do it again? Yes! The sky right up to the luge. It was also really hot. My gosh, guys, we're up here. Leon, how are you feeling? I was kind of scared that was it very we hard? could fall. Most of the time we spent there was actually going up the sky ride and like queuing to get on the sky ride again. It takes quite a while to go from bottom of the luge all the way to go up the MB Auto Club. So um, we decided to give Leon a snack. What is your snack? Mm. But I mean it's really quite fun. So if you haven't gone, I would recommend that you go at least the the actual going down was a bit short even though we took the three longest routes. It was only like two and a half minutes long. It was longer, but it's like very short. You can watch videos on YouTube of like some huge experience in New Zealand and it seems to be going on forever. Singapore please make another route like down like giving my hero or Mount Favor or something that'd be epic. The massive drama that happened during this vacation was that we found out someone was trying to impersonate in there. So oh yeah, talk. someone was trying to impersonate me, okay? I don't know who you are, but if you're watching this now, don't impersonate me because I am me and you are not me. We had put up a video about four of us jumping into bed and then someone replied and commented saying, Hi mom of the elves. Who is this? Inez X Miracle. So unimaginative. You don't even know what the X stands for. And you just put Inez X Miracle. She would not be even. You know, because of this, I actually made a TikTok account. And the minute after I finished shutting it up, it got taken down. So I tried to report it. I tried to say it's impersonating me. But the thing is that it's not impersonating me. It's impersonating you. It was rejected. It said there was nothing wrong with this person. I'm like, are you mad? The person is re-uploading all my content and commenting as if it was her content. We were like wrecking our brains because it was really disturbing and people were actually following the account asking questions about us the person was answering questions like yo my mom says this and that I'm like huh? what? it was just ridiculous I said like were you you could make your own original videos with your actual face but you can't because you don't have a face we managed to get one of our friends who works in TikTok to report it to someone and this friend managed to get it taken down within a couple of hours intellectual property 101 uh, please uh, don't re-upload other people's videos okay? Up, 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 up. Where are we going? We're going up. 
The Singapore cable car? I guess we did the like the Sentosa one. I had imagined that it was gonna be air conditioned. <laughs> it was odd. Everybody, Ines. Oh. Hey, we're going back soon. We're at the last part already. I thought it was fun. The view is great. I mean, you get a different perspective on Sentosa, which is good to hang out with family. I think it's only fair that we get the opportunity to rate and review in a very authentic way. That check-in experience gets 2 out of 10 because there were only 3 counters or 20 people. And we had no idea that you were supposed to be able to book a check-in slot. And I don't think we were the only ones who didn't realise that because there were so many people around us waiting. The room was very, very big. The toilet was very, very big. For the space and the kind of comfort feeling that you get from a really huge room, I think that, you know, we give it about 7 upon 10. The reason why I wouldn't give it more than a 7 upon 10 is because I do think the amenities could have been improved in the toilets. The room itself was also very very quiet and it faced this really nice greenery so that was actually very very nice. And the bed itself was not intolerable but not the best. It was like okay but better than some others that I've been to be honest so not bad. Also gets a 7. I would say that the pool is more like a one-size-fits-all kind of pool. It's very very large. You can put a lot of families so even with the booking slots that you have to book now because of COVID there were a lot of families that still managed to get slots but there were no water features for children and there was no shallower pool so if you're going there with really really young children you have to bring a floor you have to watch them very carefully because it's just like a standard 1.2 1.3 meter kind of pool again a 7 out of 10 this hotel basically does averagely well for everything but it's not the best in class and i think that's why it's good enough for most people i would recommend it if you wanted to go in again the whole experience as a family was a 9 upon 10 it was very very close to perfect in terms of us just being together hanging out as a family having different times and spaces to do different things for each other Three highlight moments. Huge. Huge. Yeah. I got Shinjiro. Oh. When did you get the Jingli Ho? Tell me, you ordered Jingli Ho in because I wanted to be called watching through and I'm because I like watching. And that was spontaneous. It's always about our attitude and how we can be grateful for the fact that we can even have the resources and the time to go on a staycation with the kids. I think that's something that we just want to stay very grateful about. When we got back home, Leon was like, when are we going to go back to Hotel Aquarius? And I think he just likes the fact that we were all together in one room and we spent all our time together with him. At this point, we're his world, right? When I saw there was a deal on Cook, I decided that, hey, why don't we just book another one to mark the end of Inez's school term? But if you'd like to find out where we're going, please subscribe. Please Leave a comment on where you think we're going and of course you can follow us on our other social media channels where you might get a hint of where we're going and also hit the notification button so that when we get new videos up you'll also be the first to know. So take care everybody, I'm Sarah X Miracle, your Miracle Mom.